Hey everybody, it's me Meg, and I'm excited to be doing this tutorial to show you guys exactly how I achieved this look on this RPG show wig. It makes me feel fine like red wine. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I got this look with this RPG show wig. And I haven't worn an RPG show wig in a really long time. And I was really impressed by the packaging. The, the box has improved, it's a more sturdy box. And inside of the wig box, you get this kind of plastic casing to store your wig in, and which also is a good plus. A great plus, actually, is that it comes in this plastic casing, so if it's being shipped, your wig is protected by any kind of damage that may happen in transit because it's in that plastic. And of course, it comes with the brush, as always. Two wig caps, which is very helpful. And which is new, I noticed, too, is it comes with this elastic band. So the elastic band is used for fixing the lace um, to make sure it's secure and tight on your head if it's a little loose, if the lace or the band is loose around the wig. So you can tighten that and fix it to customize your head. <laughs> so it also comes with the RPG show magazine slash pamphlet to give you more information about wigs and all that good stuff. So my wig I have is kind of like this red berry cherry goodness um, I'm really excited about. And um, all the stats will be down in the description below. So please check that out if you want more detailed information about the stats of the wig. And it did come curled. Um, it's, it came with beautiful curls. It was, smelled really good. I can tell that the, the wig was cleaned and treated and it felt really great. But I wanted to do it myself so I did wash and deep condition the wig myself before wearing. And of course I have my braids. Excuse the fuzziness. They have been in for a couple of days. So I have braids that I want to, you know, have in my hair to make sure it lays flat. And I'm going to put my wig cap on. Um, this wig cap is a little lighter for my personal preference. So I'm going to fix that later on, which you'll see. But I'm going to apply two wig caps just to make sure the foundation is really smooth. Because that's what I want. A sm nice smooth foundation. I don't want any like bumps for my wig, you know. So that's that. I'm going to put that on. And to fix the lightness, because this wig cap is a bit beige for my skin tone, I'm going to apply some foundation to kind of fix that. Because, you know, when you have the lace on the wig, the wig cap tends to show through. So that's why I wanted to kind of darken up that cap with some foundation. So this is the wig air dried. I deep conditioned it um, for like a day. And this wasn't intentionally. I just got really busy and couldn't rinse it out as soon as I could. So it feels really good. And of course, I'm going to cut off the lace. I always cut the lace off after I wash and deep condition the wig because I want to see and make sure that I really, really like the wig to move forward. And I cut the lace off. It's pretty simple. Just cut as close to the hairline of the wig as possible. And this wig does come with adjustable straps in the back and combs to secure it nice and, you know, snug <laughs> on your head. So I'm just kind of adjusting the wig um, prior to applying it to my head so it's really simple and easy just put it in the little loopy loops and this put that thing on just like that so I'm really liking the color at first I was nervous because I was like oh I don't know if I'm gonna like the color but I really like this color like it's great for summer and you know going into the fall too so of course with the lace wig, you have to manip manipulate into the lace for the parting to make it appear more natural. So I'm just going to kind of manipulate that and get the parting how I want it, like that. So I'm just going to kind of like manipulate it, work with it, and all that good stuff. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to section off my wig to uh, flat iron it. I want a pin straight look instead of it curled. So I do have a full tutorial showing you guys exactly how I flat iron my wig. So that will be in the description below if you want a full tutorial to see exactly how I do it. But I always section off the first half of the wig to work on the back half first. And I'm going to use my my favorite, my um, Cure Care Silk and Seal um, 
heat protected sheen and I'm gonna use a small tooth comb. I can't find my regular combs for some reason, so I've been using this micro mini, <laughs> this micro mini comb. And of course, comb it on through just to distribute the product evenly, but you don't wanna put too much of this silk and seal because your hair will be weighed down and stringy. So you just put like a light misting um, within each section. And I'm gonna take a section within that section, comb through, and do the follow method with my flat iron. And I get the best results with doing this method with my, um, my wigs. So check that tutorial out, it is in the description below. So I really like the way this hair flat irons. It feels really, really, really good. Um, I like the results, the hair is super soft. And I didn't receive any kind of like matting or tangling in the back. You know, sometimes with wigs it kind of gets a little matted because it's summertime but I didn't get any of that but I also noticed that the underside of this wig isn't all the way red it's kind of like a brown tint I'm not sure if this was intentional or if this is the style of the wig but I much would prefer if it were me to have the wig all one color underneath so it's kind of like a two-tone look look but I would just rather have it be all one color for me that's just my opinion so the hair is almost done and I really love the shine and how it feels, it feels so good. And I'll put down in the, the description what um, shampoo and conditioner I use um, to get this hair like this because I know a lot of people are like, my wig doesn't look like that when I get it. Um, I actually did some extra love and care to the wig before wearing it. So that's kind of why my wig looks a little different than it may look sh coming straight out of the box. So this is pretty much the finished look after it's been flat ironed. The hair is feeling good, it's shiny, it's flowy. It feels really, really nice. And it smells wonderful too. <laughs> so that's that. So now I'm going to kind of make sure that I, um, yeah, I can't stop touching it, obviously. I just, feels it feels, it feels so good. <laughs> Um, also, the, the brown doesn't look too bad, but, you know, it's just little things that I would probably change just for myself. But, um, now I'm going to make sure I don't have any flyaways. I'm going to use my Sebastian hairspray just to make sure there's no little, little flyaways. I'm just going to apply some pressure after I spray the top half of the wig and just smooth it on down. Because there tends to be, you know, flyaways with, with wigs. It's kind of natural with wigs. And of course, conceal my parting as best as I can with some foundation. And I'm just gonna place that into the parting like that. And just kind of work that on in there. Like that. And I'm gonna take my Anastasia uh, Brow Palette and I'm gonna use granite. And I'm going to conceal even more where that light lace is showing. So I'm going to put that dark color to conceal even more because I don't want people to know it's, you know, looks like it's super obvious that it's a wig at the front, you know. This is still a struggle for me, so I'm still learning. I've gotten better over the years, but you just have to kind of take your time and just do this. <laughs> so now I'm going to just spray a little more hairspray because the top half was a little puffy and sticking up but of course when I wash and deep condition my wigs I do have a tutorial on how I do that that's in the description below too I always air dry the wigs on a wig head and kind of make sure that I flatten out the top as much as I can because it'll be harder to make sure that the wig is flat when you dry it or if you don't you know lay it a certain way when it after you wash and deep condition the wig so now I'm gonna take some hairspray on the small comb and just kind of run it through the wig just to give it a more sleek look, a more finished look because sometimes there are little flyaways and you just wanna make sure it's nice and neat. Like that. And it's so, so pretty. I love this. I got so many compliments on this wig and I feel like it goes with my skin tone really really nice and I feel like they did a pretty good job with the color the hue it is a nice kind of rich cherry burgundy red and the hair feels really good because before um the hair felt different years ago but now it feels like they really improved the quality of the hair and the density of this wig is fuller than the ones that I've had in the past which I really really like so 
um, RPG show has done some improvements that I'm really, really excited about. So if you guys do have any questions, feel free to ask me. All information about this wig will be down in the description below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.